What's left of Tropical Storm Debbie is bringing both a threat and opportunity to Albemarle County. The heavy rains put low-lying areas into a flood risk, but it may also help answer what has been a summer-long drought. Amaya Mitchell joins us live to continue our team's coverage. Aaron, the rain rolled into Albemarle County this afternoon, but how quickly it adds up on the ground versus which area sees the most rainfall is critical. At this point, I don't think it's going to be a major issue just on the predictions, but it's all dependent on what flows uh, are coming downstream. The James River has flooded Scottsville in the past, but Tim Carr, Scottsville's levee superintendent, says with the rain being so spread out, they're hoping not again this time. What rain Lynchburg or the cow pasture and Jackson Rivers are getting, uh, the Mari, the Rockfish, the Ty River, they all flow. Uh, upstream from here, so that water has to pass through Scottsville. Uh, so at this point, it's just a waiting game to see what they get. Carr says if flooding becomes a problem by the weekend, the town has measures in place to keep everyone safe. Like these floodgates and this pump tower. Once the river gets up to about 13 feet, we have to close the gates, and that prevents the James from coming into the uh, town. But in the same token, it keeps Mint Creek from flowing into the James, so then we have to pump it out into the James River to keep the town dry. Others are hoping to collect the rain. As you know, we're in a drought watch, so some water is really good. <laughs> the Rivanna Water and Sewer Authority is hoping this storm fills up their reservoirs and have prepared to help this process. The Ragged Mountain Reservoir has a very small watershed area, so we under certain conditions, we'll fill it using a pipeline from the Sugar Hollow Reservoir. That pipeline is open right now uh, for one to kind of help pull water out of Sugar Hollow ahead of time. Uh, and we do expect that we'll get enough rain that we'll see um, water spilling over the dam at Sugar Hollow as well. Now, back to Scottsville for a second and timing. This weekend, as the creeks flow down into the James, there is a potential for the river to crest and a potential risk for flooding, but we'll be sure to keep you updated. Live in Charlottesville, Amaya Mitchell, 29 News at 5.